longitudinal assessment is an approach to assessment that allows an individual to answer questions over time rather than sitting for a one-time point-in-time examination. So the formative function of longitudinal assessment allows you to answer questions and to learn from how you're performing. The second function of longitudinal assessment that's equally important is the summative function so that over the course of several years, the board is looking at your cumulative performance. And at some point, they need to make a decision as to whether you remain certified or not. That's the function of the administering board for uh, any assessment. But you have the benefit of getting regular feedback as an individual, whether you're tracking towards passing or not passing. And so you have a chance to modify and change how you're approaching the assessment. It is that learning cycle component of formative assessment that's so helpful for the individual who's taking the exam. They have the opportunity to answer a question, receive immediate feedback, why an item was right, why other items were incorrect, and be referred to other resources. It also, because it happens over time and because questions are presented to individuals every month or every quarter, the board has the opportunity to push information. So as things like Zika virus or during the COVID pandemic or even during the opioid epidemic, boards can create new items and push those out to individuals. It is intended to be flexible for the individual answering the items. So uh, rather than a point in time assessment where you need to go to a testing center, take time off from work or your practice, uh, you might need to travel to a testing center. Longitudinal assessment actually gets rid of all of that. It allows an individual to answer the items when they have an opportunity to do so. It can be on their computer or laptop. It can be on a tablet. Some individuals may prefer to do one question in the morning, and it's just a nice way to start off the day. Other individuals may feel they want to get in a rhythm of answering questions, and they might answer five or 10 questions in a sitting. And others may set aside several hours and say, you know, I'm going to sit and I'm going to go through all of my questions for this month or this quarter. Longitudinal assessment allows the boards to be creative and flexible in what they send and how they present the information for the diplomates and for those who are taking the exams. So there are some boards who have created longitudinal assessment programs that are strictly multiple choice questions. Other boards who have created longitudinal assessment that are article based, where they present a article that is recent from the literature. In, the individual needs to read the article and then has a series of questions about the article. And those questions are not sort of hunt and find information from the article. The, are, the questions are about synthesizing and applying the information from the article. And then there are other boards who have a combination of both. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. It's positive because the flexibility that allows for when and where questions are answered. It's positive because it has that formative component that is, uh, supports the learning and development for physicians and helping individuals stay up to date. It is also positive because um, with point in time assessments, there's a great deal of anxiety that comes with testing. Even for physicians and medical specialists who have gone through their career taking standardized tests, you still spend a lot of time planning for those one-day exams. So it takes away all of that. And often, once you get into a rhythm of doing the questions, you begin to see the learning value and the learning support of it. 